So what would be the pros of texting your ex? Hey guys, welcome to Unexpert Advice with Darren Karp. I am Darren Karp. Each episode, we're gonna tackle those tough questions that you guys have been DMing me all week. Anything from relationships to work advice, we have you covered here on Unexpert Advice. Today, I'm bringing in my two good friends, my two best mates, uh, to help tackle a question. My good friend, Jeff Ayers. Jeff, how long have we known each other? Maybe like like a year and a half, two mm -hmm. years? Yeah, around maybe? that. And I do think we have the type of friendship where uh, it's platonic. For now. For now, but I've given you advice. Yes. Do I give good advice? No, it's very good, yeah. Yeah, yeah do it's you, very good. Do you take my advice? I try to, yeah, you're so wise. But I've, I feel like it's not just a one-way street, right? And then I have my friend Taylor here who also does a bustle series called Taylor Ow. Tries. We've exchanged advice and you take my advice. Do you appreciate my honesty? I didn't love when you called me like transparent and pasty. <laughs> but that was but, more of an But then I got a spray tan, so indirectly, yeah. I took your advice. Guys, just a reminder to always submit your questions to us uh, as they roll in, we wanna hear from you. Today's big question that I got DM'd is texting your ex. So who here has texted their ex? Raise your hand. Okay. Who has texted their ex in the past year? Oh, come on. No, I have not. Who has, well, this is gonna be you now. Have you texted your ex in the past week? I have. Shame. Have you texted your ex today? Okay, so like, all right, so there, we're at two different levels. I feel like I'm in between of you and Taylor. Do you text all of your exes, none of your no. exes? Do you have good communique with all of your exes? Why or why not? It's not all of them. The one today, it's a very amicable, respectful uh, relationship that we still have. Ew. <laughs> Taylor's like, amicable. Taylor wants hatred. Like, legit. And, I, and I'm a dog with a bone. I'll talk about you for the rest of your You need life. the drama. I know, she has a off. platform, yeah. that's the problem. <laughs> Bad. Wait, when did you text your ex, Taylor? Well, he technically texted me, so I texted him back, and then we got into a fight, and I was like, that's why I divorced you. I had just come out in the air with my girlfriend, Taylor, and he texted me to say, congrats, I'm happy you're happy. It was all really nice, and then it went, next comma. Oh, Stop no. Stop talking about my family. Have you ever had the urge to text him again? Yes, recently. Um, a bag of mine that he bought me as a gift, a Goyard bag. The paint started coming off on my dress. Oh. It was ruining my clothes. So I was like, I can't bring it back unless I like have proof of purchase. So I was gonna be like, hey, husband, uh, could you call Barney's for me? And get me that new bag, yo? Years <laughs> later? <laughs> I think if you date someone long enough, uh, and you become very good friends, it is weird to end that sometimes. But I think you need like a really significant break so it cools off. That's what I was gonna say. I feel like it's really hard to like live your life with someone and have this emotional relationship with someone, probably spend a lot of your time with them and then just cut it off completely. No. But I also think if when you break up, what do you mean, no? That's not hard. It's quite easy. Okay, when you're married to a guy and you realize you're gay. Someone once told me, someone said this a piece of advice to me that. Probably me. It was definitely you. Um, that if you are not friends with any of your exes, then you are the common denominator get the of, of here. the shitty relationship. No. Nice. Uh, I don't think that's right. I feel like you get like one person that you're like, we were so close and now we're friends, but it's like, you were banging, now you're not. Right. Why are you still incommunicado? They get back together. Because I wasn't just dating the person to bang them. I was dating them because I liked their personality or thought they were smart with them. <laughs> okay, I don't need to be best friends with my exes. I don't need to like hang out with them all the time. But a lot of them, I started dating them because I liked them as people. Yeah. It wasn't just the sex. Like I thought that they were super smart or super funny or had a lot to offer more than just what they had to offer in the bedroom. Some of them were just offering in the bedroom, but those people I'm not friends those with Those people, anymore. I think it makes no sense for you to be texting. If it's sexual purely, especially if you're dating someone, why are you texting them except yeah. to get in trouble? I have, yeah. like nothing has ever in my life been purely sexual, so that doesn't apply. <laughs> no, I guess, honestly, every relationship, I was raised Catholic, strict parents, is supposed to end in marriage. So if we break up, it's like, we didn't get married, get the f out of my life. Like, that's it. Yeah. Um, well, what about like texting when you're drunk? Because for me, I always want to text and call this one particular ex-girlfriend when I'm drunk. Ooh, just why? to- To do what? Honestly, yeah. literally I've thought about this because I'm like, why do I have this urge? Like, 
Why do I want to do this? I'm perfectly happy in the relationship I am now. But there's something exciting about like the not knowing how they're going to respond. Like it's a test. Like I want to see like how they're going to react to me. And, and is that crossing a line with your partner? I did it just because I was like drunk and wanted to like see if they would like be flirty and fun. You needed that attention from that person. Yes. Oh. What, do you, what has been, well, okay, this really applies to you, Jeff, because Taylor is like a robot. Like what's the worst thing you've ever gotten sent to you from an ex or like drunkenly sent to an ex? I got like a, you know, five scroll text message. Oh, well, if you have recapping, to scroll. Recapping our relationship. It's and, a lot. And that kind of, like I got it like two in the morning when I got to go to the bathroom and I was just like, oh, I didn't need to get in that time machine. Audience let us know like the weird stuff that you've drunk texted or gotten drunk texted or if you do it, I don't necessarily recommend it. So what would be the pros of texting your ex? To be human. Let's really say somebody's depends, yeah. family passes away, yep. right? Right. Then you reach out. That's appropriate and acceptable. The first and half of what you talked about, like the being proud of you for coming out on the air. Yeah. But maybe a pro, and this probably happens very rarely, but maybe a pro could be with enough time, like you could rekindle something with that person that you once felt this way about, and now you're in a place to really feel it again. I don't know. I just feel like if you're really out of it, you're not thinking about them, and if you're texting, you're thinking about them. So you're a hell no. I'm a hell no. No, I mean, avoid. Don't do What's it. What's the point? Where are you at this, Jeff? You, I mean, you texted your ex literally today, I so... think it is situation dependent and ex dependent and yeah, I think it, it depends why you're texting that person. So I have a few girlfriends that are single and I feel like maybe we need the female single sure. perspective. Uh, I'm gonna call this like group text gut check because this is what I want. So I've got a few friends who are single. Is your ex in this group chat? I already got a response. This is how passionate people feel about this. They're your ex for a reason. Birthdays, marriages, whether you're single or you're with someone, it's unnecessary. Girl, bye. Yeah, girl, bye. I agree. Did I text Taylor Strecker? Yeah, you did. <laughs> My other friend said, uh, do they owe you money? Otherwise, <laughs> N-O-P-E. Okay. Wow, harsh. Okay, it feels like you and I are kind of on the... I feel victorious. I feel like and then my other friend okay, just literally yeah. texted 15 emojis of the girl going like this. <laughs> right? And then the other one did a vomit emoji face. So I, I maybe we're... I'm oh, sorry you guys are so thirsty for attention from your exes and you need to be constantly reaffirmed that you meant something to me. I love you, I miss you. This is why I had a gut check because apparently now I know that maybe my, my advice is wrong. I just try to be reasonable and assess each situation. I still feel like if you're not friends with any of your exes, and I don't mean best friends, I don't mean you have to like go out to dinner with them, but I mean cordial enough where you could just like call them up on the phone. It's okay as long as you both are on the same page. No, Cameron, those people are called friends. <laughs> That's who you call. So exes can never be friends. <sighs> <laughs> You know what, guys? I host the show, so I get to give my final word of advice. Okay. And we just have to sit here? Yeah, you just have to sit and you have to, but you're gonna agree with me, Taylor's not. So Taylor really, so drink up, Tay. I think it's okay to text your ex, as long as you don't have any expectations to really, Ex to want. Expectations. Expectations coming from it. If it's friendly, if it's good, you honestly have nothing to lose. As long as you are mutually agreed upon that, I would definitely give it time before texting your ex after you break up. Feel comfortable in yourself first, and then everything else doesn't, won't bother you. Playing with fire. Guys, I. <laughs> she just burns down the house every time. She is time. burning the down issue. the house. I want to know what you think. Please let me know uh, if you think texting your ex is emoji girl, absolutely not, barf, vomit, hell no. Or were you kind of with me and Jeff on this one? Thank you all so much for watching on Expert Advice with Darren Carp. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Carpe Darren. I want to get your questions all answered, so keep DMing me. I'll bring back more friends and we can answer all of your questions. Keep watching Bustle throughout the week. We have videos inundating your feed. You don't want to miss a thing. Thanks for watching.